Okay, so the next uh, the next part is uh, crop. So from climate rainfall, then we let's go to crop. Okay, so we have our climatic data. We have uh, rainfall data. Okay, long term rainfall data. Now we need to introduce our crop. Now for this scheme, let me assume that we are going to use again from here. You can even insert your your data from here. But if you don't have, again, you can use this. Uh, available data so for me um, i will just go with tomato yeah tomato i think this one you can choose it from here any crop that you want so for me i'll just go with tomato just like this then click okay. then click open okay so these are the data are the tomato data from fao database okay fao database okay so what can we learn from here now let me uh, let me maximize so as you can see clearly so this is the name of course that is tomato and planting date it just assume uh 3rd of may and the harvest date is this one okay so this is the kc value of course this is the initial stage with kc value of 0 0.6 and the mid season with kc value of 1.15 and the late stage or the late season of 0 0.18 as kc value again the stage is initial of course the number of days here are 30 days so you can edit if you want so if there is nothing so for me i just maintain the way they are so the total uh, duration or the total cropping uh, duration is 145 days again the next thing here is uh, rooting depth okay so this is the rooting depth so for at the initial stage we have 0 0.25 remember this is in meter and again from mid-season we have the highest value of uh, rooting depth which is one of course one meter okay so then the next data is critical depression of course which is in fraction so this is the value and the other one is yield response factor so as, as you can see here at the initial stage the yield response factor is 0 0.5 which is the lowest of course and at the development stage the yield response factor is 0 0.6 so here we have the maximum value. What does this mean? So at the mid-season, any reduced amount of water is going to have the negative, the highest negative impact on your yield. This is the stage where your crop need at the full irrigation. Okay, so the full irrigation. Otherwise, you are going to have a negative impact on the yield. Okay, so the next option is crop height, of course. It is optional 0 0.6 this is optional so there is nothing you can change so this is a crop data again if you have it you can you can insert them manually but if you don't have you can use the available cropwort data of course on cropwort database just like that 